Hey there ladies, my name is Crystal. I'm a stylist and future salon owner and today is part three of our best hair for you series. Last week we discussed the best hair color for your skin tone and the week before that we discussed the best haircut for your face shape. Today we are going to be discussing what the best hairstyle is for your body type. <laughs> now before I jump into this, I don't want any of you guys getting defensive or mad at something I said. Everything I'm sharing with you today is going to be uh, scientifically proven. It's not something that's my opinion. It's going to be uh, based on scientific studies. It's not my opinion. Let me just make that clear. This is what uh, the general population believes based off of scientific studies. So if you are interested in figuring out how to look more attractive or more appealing to the human eye, uh, simply by a haircut, then stay tuned and let's get on with this video. Okay, so there are three main types of body type that I'm going to go over today. And the first one is going to be tall and lengthy. This is going to include anybody who is 5'10 or taller. Uh, typically they have really long arms, long legs, a long neck. Uh, that's, that's what long and lengthy is going to look like. With this type of body type, you want to avoid getting pixies or bob, any kind of short haircut. It's only going to make you look taller and like you're going to be towering. If that's what you're going for, by all means, get a short haircut. But if that's not what you're going for, um, stay away from pixies and bobs. Now, what you should get for a tall and lengthy body type um, is long, beautiful, flowing, long Rapunzel hair. This is going to look amazing on you. And if you're not wanting hair all the way down to your waist, I completely understand that. But if you're a tall and lengthy body type, I would suggest keeping it past the shoulder or uh, underneath the collarbone is even better. If you can go even longer than that, that's really going to help because you have such a long neck that by the time it gets to your shoulders, it's just like, basically a bob it's gonna it's not gonna really just go longer if you possibly can now the second body type we have is the average body type this is for any woman who is between about 5'5 five five and 5'9 five this body type is the oval face shapes of body type <laughs> if you have an average body type you can basically get away with anything as long as your face shape allows it. If you're not sure if your face shape works with every single hairstyle, go check the video in the description box and I will link down the best haircut for your face shape. If your face shape does allow it, you can do short hair, you can do long hair, you can do volume, you can do uh, bone straight, you can do anything you want because your body type allows it and now if your face shape allows it, you're just, you're just a lucky girl. <laughs> So experiment. If you have an average body type and you're not really sure what you want, you don't really know what you like best on you, just experiment until you figure out what you like best. Now for the third body type, we have short and stocky. This is a girl who is 5'4 or shorter. A lot of people might look at you and describe you as big boned, um, but that's not always the case. For this body type, you really want to stay away from long hair. You don't want anything um, extremely long because since you're already so short, if you have long hair, it's going to look like you are just this uh, blob of hair. Like it's not going to flatter you well and you're going to look like that thing off the Adams Family. I don't, know what it's, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but that thing with all the hair, that's what you're going to look like. Shorter hair off the shoulders is going to look best for you. So. Anything that's like at the top of your, at the bottom of your neck or up, like pixies will look really cute on you because it's going to trick the eye into thinking that your body is longer than it actually is. Another thing a short and stocky body type can do is if you don't want to go that short, you can get a hairstyle, so lots of layering or something that's going to allow you to get tons of volume because you're going to be able to build more height into tricking the eye into making you think that you're taller. With that being said, if you have short hair um, and you really are truly big boned, I would not suggest that because that, now that's only going to accentuate how broad your shoulders are. So I would keep the hair right at a little past the shoulder or 
if you do want a little bit more length, have tons of layering, heavy, heavy layering that's really going to build weight and uh, take away from the looks of your shoulders instead of accentuating them with hair above them. So if you have big shoulders, don't go above. Now let's get into figure. I know what you're thinking. Girl, you just said that there are three different types of body types. Yes, but that doesn't mean there are only one figures. Uh, body type is more like height and figure is more about width. Now, first up, we have the full figure. This is a woman who is a plus size girl. If you are a full figure or you're a plus size girl, stay away from pixies and bobs. Anything that's going to be right under the chin when you're a fuller, a chunkier girl, um, it's only going to accentuate how round you are. And um, unless you want to accentuate that, I would not, <laughs> I would not suggest getting any pixies or bobs. Um, in fact, I wouldn't suggest anything that's going to be underneath your bra strap. Keep your hair as long as you possibly can. This is really going to um, disguise and it's going to contour the right places and diminish the places that you might want to be hiding. Another thing that you can do to trick the eye into thinking that your frame is actually smaller than it is or your figure is actually smaller than it is, is get tons of volume. Get uh, beautiful, long extensions, thick, voluminous, diva, uh, model-like hair. This is going to really, really work for your frame. This is uh, gonna just be perfect for you. Don't get pixies, don't get bobs, and have long, voluminous hair that's gonna be in the middle of your back or longer is gonna be the best hairstyle for this body type. I cannot stress this enough. The longer and more voluminous your hair is, the more balanced out your body is going to appear to the human eye. Now we have the small figure. This is going to be the complete opposite of the fuller figure. You do not want big, voluminous, long hair because it will only overpower your tiny figure. It will just drown you out. You'll just be like swallowed up by your own hair. Again, looking like that thing from the Adams Family. You're not going to look balanced, you're just going to look like this giant mass of hair. So what you wanna go for instead is keep it a lot uh, closer to your body. This doesn't mean that you can't have long hair, it just means that don't have a hairstyle that's gonna be extremely voluminous, something that's going to uh, go out bigger than your tiny shoulders are. You wanna keep it um, in line with where, if you were wearing a tank top, where those straps would be. And that's a good rule of thumb for any body type. So the bigger your body is, obviously the stripes are, the straps are going to be out wider, so get bigger hair to fit with the straps. The tinier your frame is, the closer your straps are gonna be to your body, so the smaller your hair needs to be. Another thing is, is that if you do get long hair, I would not suggest having it longer than your waistline because that's going to uh, end up starting to swallow your body and really um, shrink down your height. In turn, making your figure look much smaller than you actually are. The longer your hair is and the more layers that you have in it, uh, it's going to trick the eye into making you think that you're more curvier, make, more, make you look more like you have an hourglass figure, and it'll trick the eye into creating curves that you don't naturally already have. So what I'm trying to say, I guess, is length does not really matter too much for this body type. I would just not go past your waist length. Now some pro tips I wanna give you to keep in mind when you are cutting your client's hair or when you are going to go get your hair cut by your hairstylist. So my tip for the small framed ladies is if you're really petite and you, you look uh, really dainty, um, and you're not big boned, like the typical short and stocky frame that I was talking about earlier, uh, something that's really going to help you appear more um, feminine is showing off your collarbone. Uh, tie your hair up, you know, put it in a high ponytail and have long hair like this. And this length in the back is going to um, just uh, accentuate your, your the little curves that you do have, and it's going to draw the eye, since your hair is going straight down your back, it's going to draw the eye to go in like this. That's another reason why I really stress that when you're a bigger, fuller girl, 
um, have long hair because it's going to draw the eye into going like this, in turn, making you look like this. You see? <laughs> so if you're a plus size girl, like I mentioned, uh, long hair down to your butt or lots of layers, they're going to draw your eye into making you look like this until it gets to your waist and then that's when it starts to thin out. So then your hips, big hips again, you see? So it's going to diminish the bad parts and accentuate the good parts on both a larger frame and a smaller frame. It's just depending on how you style it and how, um, you, how you have it down. So smaller frame girls, show off your collarbones because you don't really have much uh, curves going on and bigger frame girls let your hair flow down your back so that it can start bringing in your waistline and accentuating the hips so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please subscribe down below for more free salon education and anything hair related also by helping me get monetized by the end of the year that's my goal once i get monetized i plan to do a huge giveaway with extensions so if that's something that you're interested in um, share this video with your friends so we can get there faster and uh, you can beat out who might be coming along. And for those of you who have been continuing to support me from the beginning of my channel, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. Um, and that's going to be all. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. God bless. Bye.